Hey guys, uh, Secret here, and yesterday I finally got into Platinum 1 using Sky Striker. Uh, so I want to showcase my deck to you guys. So yeah, let's just uh, hop into it. Okay, so first of all, um, I play 2 filler. Some people like it 3, but I think 2 is enough. Um, it's not as good as the other hand trap but it enables us to get into our access code easier so yeah to failure and then uh, i play 3 maxi the best hand trap uh, in this game so yeah either your opponent take the maxi challenge or they just pass their turn if they don't have anything to decade maxi so yeah a very very good hand trap and then i play 3 ash blossoms one of the most used hand trap in Master Duel besides Maxi. So you probably have seen this card and Maxi so much before. Also, yeah, it can negate Maxi, so a very very good hand trap. And then finally the core card for Sky Striker. Uh, Sky Striker is Ray. You must play 3 Ray, you cannot cut this card at all. So yeah. And then I play um, 2 rows. So some people like to play this card on 1, but I think 2 is okay, so yeah. Uh, and then I play 1 Kaiju, so yeah, why why Kaiju? Because uh, Kaiju is the answer for the annoying boss monster that cannot be like targeted or unaffected by card effects. Like for example, uh, number 59, the, the Crooked Coop, so... Yeah, <laughs> so that's why I include one kaiju on my deck. Then uh, I play two Nibiru. So because in plat I saw a lot of combo decks that uh, summon five or more monster. That way we can punish them with Nibiru when when needed. So yeah, Nibiru. Then I play one Harpy Feather Duster. It's it's like uh, the best like um, board breaker uh, because it can just destroy all enemy spell and traps so yeah a very very good card then i play two absurd goblin uh some people like to play this on three or even not at all but uh, i think uh for me two is two is enough but yeah uh, also i play reinforcement of the army i think this card is free if you play the story mode so yeah eh, you can uh if you have this card on your like uh on your hand you can just like use this card to get to get your ray and also you can uh dump this card to your graveyard right so it's a free spell in your graveyard and then terraforming it's the same as reinforcement of the army um to get to get your area zero and also to dump uh spells in your gra graveyard that's why if you have like reinforcement of the army and terraforming on your hands it's really good because uh, you can dump spells but you also get the card you needed so yeah then I play Pot of Everest um, some, uh, I think this, this card is better than Hercules base so wait a minute uh, Hercules uh, this one cause it lets, us, it, it lets us to recycle 5 monsters and then we draw 2 cards so yeah it's really really good card, so you can recycle cards like Kagari or um, your Rei or Hayate. Um, so yeah, it's a really good card. But uh, I I I play it on one because if you have like two, it's I think it's uh, a brick card. So yeah, I think one is okay. And then I play one Pot of Desires. Um, <laughs> Again, some people like to play this on 3 or even not at all, but I think uh, for me 1 is good because whenever I I need to use this card, usually it's like a really really dire situation, so yeah, it, it's basically my my last trump card. Uh, so yeah, uh, one, pot of, one pot of desires and then uh, also the most like important card in Sky Striker 2, uh, Engage. Um, yeah, you need to craft this card on two. Uh, yeah, a really really amazing card. And then I play one Afterburner and one Jamming Wave. 
Uh, some people like to play Afterburner than Jamming Waves, but I think Jamming Wave is uh, also a good card, so yeah, that's why I include uh, one to my deck. Mm, and then I play one like Storm. Also, most of the people don't even play this uh, at all, or uh, even if you want to play Lightning Storm, usually you. You have the uh, you have three copy of this in your deck, but uh, I played on one because um, sometimes this card uh, came clutch on me. So yeah, that's why I include one light star in my deck, and it's it's really a good card if you draw draw lightning storm on your first turn. So. It's really a good card, and then I play two area zero and two multi rolls. Uh, to call by the grave, you I think uh call by the grave is also a really really good card because uh you can use this card on your other decks. So yeah, then I play one hundred drones. I uh, this card is also an alternative if you don't open ray or rose or your reinforcement of the army. Uh, so yeah. Then two widow anchor. This card is also the MVP in Sky Striker. Uh, so yeah, definitely play uh, two copies of this. Then I play one Eagle Booster. Eagle Booster is a really really good card, especially if you already commit to uh, summoning your access code talker. Because if you have this card set on your field, the next uh, next turn uh, your opponent next turn. You can just like pop this card, and your access code talker cannot be touched at all. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe it can if he have kaiju or something. But if he don't have cards like kaiju, uh, he cannot do anything to your access code talker at all. So yeah, a uh, really really good card. Uh, then I play two shark cannon. So yeah, some people also like to play this card on one, but I think two is oh, two is really good. Because you can stall your um, opponent monster if needed uh, to enable us to like play Crystron or Hita to change it to Silin and Access Code Talker. So yeah. And then finally, um, on the extra deck, I play one Kagari. Uh, sadly, we can only use one Kagari, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I play three, Shiz three Shizuku, three Hayate. One Kaina, one Crystron, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Hita, one Zeke, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Celine, and one Access Code Talker, our boss monster. Uh, for Nightmare Uni for Nightmare Unicorn, you can substitute it to Ningirsu. Where is it? Um, discard. Uh, yeah. So you, you also can get this card for free if you play the story mode. So um, yeah, but I like Nightmare Unicorn more because it's easier to link. So yeah, it's it's totally up to you guys. Um, so yeah, I think that's all for my uh, for my sh showcase for my Sky Striker deck. So yeah, it's Sky Striker is really a versatile deck. Uh, you can like. Mm, Put anything that you want and see if it works for you. Uh, it's not it's not quite cheap uh, by any means, but uh, most of the hand trap that I use on this deck is also a staples that you can use on your other decks like Failure, Maxi, S, Blush, S Blossoms, and Call by the Grave. You can use all of these cards in your other decks. So yeah, it's a really good staples and. Okay guys, so I just made a cheaper cheaper deck for Sky Strikers, so yeah. Uh, I include cards like MSC or Chalice, it's really cheap, so you can craft this card easily. Um, yeah, so the only UR that you need are like Failure, Maxi, Ash Blossoms, Cold Bay Grave, it's all the staples that you can use in your other decks. So yeah, the only UR that you need is like um SSO Talker, Celine, Christron, um Kagari and Kagari and Engage you can get this card if you open the Sky Striker pack. Uh, and in Gears, you can get Ningirsu for free if you play the story mode. 
Uh, same, same also for reinforcement of the army. You can get this card for free in the story mode. Uh, so yeah, it's it's quite cheap. Um, if you buy the packs in the shop, you can get one like this one for free. So you can um, make this card an alternative uh, for Harpy Feather Duster. So yeah. Uh, also, you can upgrade uh, upgrade this deck for cards like um, Imperm so Imperm or Droplet later uh, if you have the budget or you can even add more hand traps like DD Crow or uh, Draw and Lockbird um, also you can add cards like Ghost Bell uh, or School Maester so yeah it's totally up to you guys Okay, so I only I only lose against Drytron because <laughs> I don't have uh, hand traps in their first turn. So, so yeah, another Drytron and um, this one against a Mirror Match. I lose because of these annoying cards, the Slash Draw. I got like six thousand damage uh, from them. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite an annoying card. Then recently I just lost against the 6 Samurai deck So yeah, um, the most annoying card in my opinion is the... Uh, where is it? The Rongona Minia card uh, Yeah, this is really annoying <laughs> So yeah uh, And then... Okay, uh, this is one of my replay uh, recently. So he just said a uh, monster card. So yeah, I I actually got a really really good starting hands because I have like green zone of the army. Uh, so I, even if he have an ash blossoms, I can like use the uh, hornet drones to chain it to Hayate or. Or Shizuku uh, after that. So yeah, but he don't have uh, an Ash Blossom, so I got my Ray. So I just destroy this set monster card and then chain it to Hayate. Uh, throw my Gil Boosters to the graveyard. Chain it to Shizuku. Set my uh, Widow Anchor and then end my turn. I take my engage because I already have like two cards in my graveyard. So the next time <coughs> they summon an effect monsters, you can just like negate it and then like um, yeah, I can use my engage because I already have three spells in the graveyard. Okay, so he want to use something <coughs> from the graveyard, uh, but. I won't allow him, so I use my Ash Blossoms to negate it. But yeah, he have Cobay Brief, so okay. <laughs> Understandable, have a nice day. He can add the card. So yeah, he want to summon <clears throat> something, but I effect failure it. So I won't allow him. Then he chain it to Link Rebo, but it doesn't really matter because I use my uh, Widow Anchor to negate the Rebo, so my attack is still uh, 1500, not zero. Then I use my um, my Engage to take my Multiroll, and yeah, <laughs> he forget that I already negate. He's Link Kuribo, so even if he tribute this card, uh, <laughs> it won't do anything. So yeah. I dump something to the graveyard and then change it to Kagari to take my engage back from my graveyard. There you go. Take my engage, take the Shark Cannon, and I got Pot of Everest. Change it to Shizuku. And yeah. And my turn. 
I take my uh, Widow Anchor with multi roll. Okay, so he used Foolish Burial to throw his Blue Eyes and then he used Return of the Dragon, but I, I have a uh, Shark Cannon. So, yeah, I chain it with my Shark Cannon to <laughs> banish his. Uh, Blue Eyes from his graveyard, so he cannot special summon it. So yeah, <laughs> he cannot do anything. And I can take my Engage uh, from my graveyard. Okay, so obviously I use my Engage back to, um, to take my other shark cannons in my deck. Okay, so I take his uh, righty dri driver because it's a tuner, so I can chain it to priest run because you must have a tuner. Then I like chain it to Celine with my effect failure. Uh, the thing to remember is you need to have uh, a spellcaster card in your in your graveyard for. For Celine to be able to summon it back to your field. So if you only have like Ash Blossoms, you cannot special summon it. And then yeah, I change it to Excess Code Talker and game over. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> 